Okay, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my desk along with my little Disney collage that I have going on. First off, this whole entire desk and drawer set thing is from Ikea. Everything is sold separately. The drawers, these are two separate ones that I purchased and then the top desk of it and even this little topper, everything is sold separately. I'm going to be starting from the bottom and then I'm just going to work my way up. Right here, I have this cute little, uh, what is it, like a cake stand? I love it because it has the whole scallops a detail around it. And this is separate from this lamp that I'm going to talk about next. But this I got at Target at the dollar spot and it was only three bucks. This really cute lamp I got for Christmas from my mom. I had seen pictures of something similar to this on Pinterest and I was so obsessed with it and I never seen something like that in person so somehow my mom found something like it and knew I would love it because it's very Alice in Wonderland because of the whole teacups and teapot. Right here I have it's a salt and pepper shaker it's of the trash cans at Disneyland this one is of Fantasyland and I just think they're so cute I don't think I'll ever use it for a salt and pepper shaker but I just keep it up here in display with all my other Disney stuff and I keep it right next to this Snow White book because Fantasyland, Snow White, they're perfect. And on top of the Snow White I have this cute little uh, poison apple. I got it from the Cove Bar in uh, DCA. I think I got a apple teeny and they tossed this little poison apple thing inside and it used to light up but I don't think it does anymore. So this Snow White book is neat. It's not actually a book. It's kind of like where you can keep I don't know papers and stuff but inside there is a whole bunch of different letters. Um, I'm not sure how many comes inside but I know that there is two prints of each along with envelopes and you can just send out to like a friend or something and I actually have one of them hanging on my wall that I will actually talk to, talk about a little bit later. This Alice in Wonderland print is so adorable she is holding the white rabbit and this is from a girl named Megan. I'm going to link her shop down below on the description box. I'm gonna link all the artists, everyone that I mentioned down below on the description box, so if you guys are interested in looking up any of their shops, I'm going to have that. So what I really liked about this artist is that she sends out some prints. I know that she does this for some of her prints, not all, but she'll send them out with a unique little frame. Right here I usually have my mirror for when I get ready in the mornings, um, but I just removed it for the sake of the video. Right here I have a little picture of my niece wearing an Alice in Wonderland shirt that I got her. And right here I have, it's, it used to, well it is um, a little container that was filled with tea and I purchased it at Disneyland and the tea is all gone and now inside I just keep old birthday pins and buttons that I got while at Disneyland. And then right above that I have this mason jar filled with Disney pens. I love all the Disney pens that they sell at the parks. If I could I would purchase them all. Um, a few of them I purchased a while back. I know that this castle one was one that I actually had been wanting to buy for a while and I always forgot and then a friend of mine Brie actually sent it to me so that was super sweet of her and then I have a little heart one that came in this set with the Mickey and the mini and then I have mini and another mini and little Marie this one has to be one of my favorite ones and then this one right here it actually lights up this one has already became a favorite of mine. It's a wooden pen and on the side of it it says once upon a time and I got this at the Walt Disney Family Museum when I was there just a couple weeks ago. And then lastly I have this Alice in Wonderland pen set of Alice and then the Cheshire Cat. I think these are so adorable. These are actually from Tokyo and I ordered it from a girl named Tomoku. I've actually shared her on my blog a few times and I have made multiple purchases from her in the past and I had recently ordered these pens from her 
because here in Disneyland we don't have any Alice in Wonderland pens and I needed that in my collection. And then on the side I just have old candles that I cleaned out and I just have all my makeup brushes. On this side right here I have my little candle stand slash holder and my candle and then right here I have this old mirror that my mom purchased for me. I believe she got it at Ross or maybe Marshalls and I just keep old Polaroid photos. Me and Rudy when we went to Disneyland on our birthday. This was actually on our birthday and then a picture of me. This cute little card. It was a thank you card from when I made a purchase of a prints from a girl named Sharon and then the Star Wars pin that I got at Hot Topic a while back and then these two pins my friend Emilda or buttons my friend Emilda gave to me real quick over here on this side I have this board that I'm actually starting to fill up with pins the first thing right here that I'm gonna talk about is a old Disneyland ticket book so um, when Disneyland first opened, I believe they used to give out Disney books and it contained tickets to that you would uh, use to go on rides. So say that you wanted to get on the Peter Pan ride, inside this book would have a ticket for it and you would just give that to the cast member and then that's your ticket into that ride. So above that, I have a Alice in Wonderland print. Alice sitting down. It looks like she's talking to the rocking horse fly and the bread butterfly. This is such a pretty print and it's by the artist Elisa. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I ordered about four of her prints and I'm going to talk about them in a bit. And then just here I have a pair of mouse ears hanging. This is from the shop, I believe it's called House of Mouse or Shop House of Mouse, something like that, but I'm going to have it linked down below anyways. This pair of ears is my absolute favorite out of all the ones I own. This is my favorite pair of ears. I wear it basically every single time I go to Disneyland and I'm always getting people staring at it, pointing at them, or asking me about them. They're always complimenting my ears. It's just a very pretty lace ears with a red sparkly bow. This print is so adorable. It's filled with the rides from Disneyland along with all the treats that they have. And you see the little castle. There's Tinkerbell and Dumbo, Churro. <laughs> it's so cute. I got this, uh, I believe it's a postcard, but I got this print at Downtown Disney. I'm not sure what shop it is. I think it was the shop that they sell all the Disney art at. Got it at my latest trip to Disneyland, so I'm sure that they still have it. Now I'm going to go on to this shelf right here. So the first thing is this cute little mug. I'm not sure when I purchased this, but I know I got it at Disneyland and they do still have it. I just thought it was super adorable. And I'm not going to lie, the main reason why I purchased it was because of the Mad Hatter in the teacup with Minnie Mouse. But nonetheless, it is just super adorable and I decided to have this one here on the shelf because I thought the color scheme just went so perfectly with the rest of the wall. And then I have my Chip mug. He's adorable and one of my favorite characters from the movie, so I had to purchase this once I finally saw it at Disneyland. Every time I went, I would look for this mug and I never spotted it until one time. And now I see him everywhere. Right here I have my Three Good Fairies Russian doll pin. This came in a mystery pack. I believe the pack comes with about five mystery pins and all the characters in them are shaped like little Russian dolls. And I love Russian dolls. I think I got super lucky with this pin set because I got the three fairies and I absolutely love them. And this frame I actually bought at Michael's. It was a plain white one and then I just painted over the white borders with nail polish. <laughs> I thought that gold glitter would go perfectly with the fairies. And then right next to the fairies I have another little salt and pepper shaker of the trash cans from Disney and this one is the small world one. This one is by far my favorite one because of the color scheme. They're so pretty. I have an empty rose lemonade bottle that I just have with old roses that I haven't tossed out but I think it kind of looks cool. And right next to it, I have a Alice in Wonderland teacup mug. I own three of them, and I really wanted to have at least one of them on the shelf, so this one was the one that made the cut. 
And to the left of the shelf, I have this Alice in Wonderland record. I decided to frame it since I took down all my old ones that I had hanging, which was my Lana records. And I decided to replace them with Disney ones, and I, I just thought that it was going to be perfect to hang on this wall. I got this when I was at Disneyland. I got it at Downtown Disney, and I had never seen the Alice in Wonderland record. I've seen a whole bunch of other ones, but never Alice, so once I saw it, clearly I had to pick it up. And then this is a photo of the Mad Tea Party, the ride at Disneyland. I actually took this photo myself. This photo was probably from 2014, and it was a rainy day, as you can probably tell. The floor is all wet, and it was pretty empty. No one wants to ride that when it's raining. And I think the photo just came out really neat, and I recently decided to print it out and frame it. And I actually got this frame from Ikea. It's one of my favorite frames that they have. This right here is another frame that I purchased at Ikea. I know that I had a lot of people asking me where I got all these white frames. And a lot of them is from Ikea, some are from Walmart, and some are from like Marshalls. Or Inside the frame I have another photo that I took myself. This photo I actually took on mine and Rudy's first trip to Disneyland together. And it happens to be my favorite photo I've taken of the castle. I knew that I wanted this photo to pretty much be the centerpiece of the wall and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And then to the right of it I have this cute print. It has Dumbo, you can see the Matterhorn and the castle and then a vintage looking Minnie and Mickey. This print came in a, I want to say a five or a six pack. I think it's a part of their anniversary print, something like that. I got it at Disneyland. They don't sell them separately. Like I said, it comes in a pack. I believe the artist of this print is Mayher because that's what it says down below. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And on the right, I have another record, and this is the Snow White one. I recently purchased this. I got this one on eBay, so I definitely think it's a vintage record. The actual record came cracked, but luckily it still works. I think it's so cute. And once again, it's perfect in this wall. <laughs> then next to the record, I have this Alice in Wonderland print. I follow this artist on Instagram, and like I said, I'm going to have everybody linked down below. Uh, her name is Sharon, and I love her art. And then she had shared a couple of Alice in Wonderland prints that she was working on. So as soon as I saw that she had listed them, on her Etsy shop, I quickly purchased them all. And this is just one of them, and it's Alice sitting by the tree with her cat Dinah. Hope you can see that. And then when I went to Disneyland one trip, I had my favorite Alice sign it. And then above Alice, I have this cute little Pinocchio print. It's actually a card, and I got this at the Walt Disney Family Museum when I was there recently. I just thought he was so adorable, and I really wanted to add something Pinocchio to my wall. And you can kind of tell that there is glitter to this print, and I loved that little touch to it. Just above Pinocchio, I have a framed e-ticket magazine that I purchased also at the Walt Disney Family Museum. Inside, there's tons of photos of the Alice in Wonderland ride as it came to be. It even includes photos of the ride, how it used to look, or they redesigned it and added a whole bunch of new things. They had a whole bunch of different ones from different rides from Disneyland, but of course I got the Alice one. And right next to it, I have this print. It's a blueprint, actually, of the Mad Tea Party ride at Disneyland. I got this off Etsy, and the... I believe that the seller is called Visual Designs. And right next to that, I have this vintage Disneyland postcard. It's a pull out photo book type of thing. And there's 26 different photos, and it's just all of photos that were taken at Disneyland. A friend of mine on Instagram, her name is Alana, actually posted this on her Instagram, and I just had to have it, so I quickly went on eBay and I found one, and it was super cheap. I want to say this was no more than five bucks. And this next print I got at Downtown Disney, and it is by the artist Liana He, and it is of the Peter Pan Mermaids. 
Then here is another Alice print from the artist Sharon. This one is of Alice painting the roses red. And once again, I had Alice sign this one. And then next to Alice, I have the three good fairies print. And this is another print from Elisa. She's the one that I had just talked about the the Alice with the bread butterfly and the rocking horse fly. On top of that, I have this Snow White print. This is actually one of those cards that came in that Snow White storybook set. This was one of my favorite of the bunch, so I had to frame this one. And then right next to Snow White, I have this vintage The Sword in the Stone postcard. I just had gone on eBay and I was looking for vintage Disney postcards and this one popped up and I was so in love with it. I just love the whole colors. I just love Merlin and I love the whole story. I'm really into the classic Disney films. On top of Snow White was another photo that I took. This was um, of course a DCA and you can just see the fun wheel in the back and Paradise Pier. I just think this photo came out super cool. And I messed around a little bit with the filters and I printed out this way so that way you can look a little vintage. And right next to that it's another photo from the artist Elisa. And this is the Little Mermaid. She is my favorite Disney princess. I love Ariel. The last Alice photo that I purchased from Sharon. And this is Alice with the singing flowers. This is another print from Elisa. This is the Happily Ever After print. I just love how old fashioned it looks. I really love the style of the classic Disney movies. Just like this one, like the opening and ending credits. I just think they're beautiful. And this is a, I purchased this. It was at Downtown Disney. It's just Minnie and Mickey in front of Sleeping Beauty's castle. For the last photo on my wall is another photo that I took. This is of King Arthur's carousel. I think this photo came out so good. I tweaked the filters a little bit to try to make it look a little vintage, but this was when the park just opened, so the park was super empty, and that's the best time to be at Disneyland. So that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope that I answered all the questions you guys may have had. If not, just leave them down below on the little comment section. I spent so much time and so much sweat went into hanging everything up here, but I am so happy with the way it turned out. It was so worth it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.